I made this video because I recently built a project where I needed to use an LCD display to drive with Arduino. In this project, I want to do something different. The idea started with Arduino, but today I use the STM Nucleo board. It is more performing and has a greater memory size. In any case, if you have a Arduino Mega, it is perfectly fit, there are absolutely no problems. Since I wanted to make some submenus, I realized that what you already can find on the internet is not so good. In my project there are several nodes to manage with many submenus and the code became quite heavy. At this point, I decided to create the code for both Arduino and Windows. For Arduino, I created a sketch. It is enough to install it on your own card, together the database file. The database file is created in a very simple way using a software still created by myself, which runs under Windows. As you can see this software is very simple to use, but very powerful, because you can create all the menus you want, with an infinite number of nodes and subnodes. At the end the output of this software will be placed in the folder where there is the Arduino sketch. When the Arduino memory is flashed everything will be ready. Of course, I will also show you how to switch from the menus created to the actions to be performed by the board. But you will see that everything works in a very simple way but at the same time very effective. Let's start from the beginning. This is the interface that appears when you launch the program under Windows. First you need to add the main nodes. To do this, you enter the name of the node, let's consider, for example, making a database of cars or commercial vehicles. I add the various brands still as a parent node, I call Toyota in another one. Now I move under the parent and I start inserting the so-called children. The subnodes, for example, I put commercial vehicles, I put cars again. Then we move to another node, and, I do the same thing. I add the same fields, you can see, commercial vehicles under Fiat and Mercedes. Now I put a further subnode, for example, under cars, I want to put, segment B, for example. I set segment C. At this point, I added it in the wrong place so I simply go to delete and I add it again. I put child and here I see that segment is in the wrong position. So with the move up, I move it to in the correct position. I do the same thing for some other subnode. Under lighter and heavier commercial vehicles, I want to show you a wrong point inserted, so as before, we do delete then OK. You don't see the complete screens because the program I used for this demonstration captured only a small part of the screen, but, in any case, when you use it in Windows all messages are displayed normally. Let's typically create a tree structure. It is possible to create with each nodes as you want. As well as for subnodes, there are no limits. There are only a limit to keep in mind. When you load it into an the Arduino memory, or STM32 core or other compatible boards, these menus have a certain weight in term of bytes. Therefore the size of the available memory must be taken into account. However I did some tests with Arduino Mega and with STM32 F401 board. There is so much space that a database fits. I continue to add other nodes, the process is always the same. 
Now I set the focus on the parent node and I want to add the subnode. Write in in the text box and make add. In case, like now, I voluntarily made a mistake. It is deleted and it is reached at the correct point. Then, as we have seen before, it is always possible to move the nodes up and down. Let's add other items in order to make the menu. I'm just giving an example. I'm inventing from scratch what to insert. In any case everyone can make the menu as want, according to their needs. Keep in mind that some characters are not allowed. However the interface informs you if a character not allowed has been digit. Some special characters cannot correct display on LCD. In this case, I use a 16 by 2 LCD display. Those LCD are commonly sold for a few euros. We are talking about less than $5. In any case, you can also use other types of displays with more lines, more columns, etc. By sure, the Arduino code have to be modified accordingly. I add something more. I want to show that it can be moved up or down. Okay, just for demonstration. The important thing is, when the sketch is loaded into the board and microcontroller it will take a function called back, which is used to go back. As I said, only three buttons are used, one to scroll forward, another to scroll back, and another to select. To move from a higher node to a lower node, select the item and press enter. To go back you need to select the item back menu and you will return to the previous screen. Anyway, take it as good, when I show you the demonstration on the board, you will understand how it works well. So let's add to all interested items. Pay attention that the software help you, it is not possible to insert more than one back field for each branch. Once I added all menus, I can expand or shrink them. Let's check all points, if back is present. If not, as I said before, we cannot go back to previous menu. There is only one item, but it was not needed. Let's put it and add a further entry. Well, at this point, it's in the wrong place so we delete it and again under the Toyota node. At this point, considering it's a demonstration, it can also be enough, so we can save it. Let's save it, and sorry for what I was saying, here the software to capture screen I used, cuts a part of the menu, but then, it will work well, when you use it on your computer. Okay, it has been saved. I show you how to open it from the disk, I call test 01. Here it is, you can make any changes you want. In case you decide that it's okay, you can do the export. You can choose the directory where you want to put it, the file now is exported. Before to see how the package works on Arduino or STM32, I want to show something that, in my opinion, is very useful. Let's go back to the files we created and open it. Now, once I opened it, let's add a utility. Let's say a character that indicates the node has subnodes, so we can immediately see them easily. We are using the editor, but imagine when you use the display. You will see the single item, so if we put a special character, in this case use the major symbol, it's easy to understand if under this node there are subnodes. So navigation is easier, you can also put another type of character, always keeping in mind however the LCD display is not able to show all special characters. In this way, cars, for example, it has submenus which are diesel, petrol, LPG, methane and back. The same thing for Toyota. 
To show an example where there are no subnodes, I add another one more, and I leave this one without the major symbol. At this point, go back to our file which I export again. At this point, we select again the file in the previous directory, where it was before. Overwrites it safely, and it's done. Now I'll show you how to take this file created by the software and to import into the Arduino. It's very simple. You take the file.h which was created from the generator menu and drag it to the directory where there is the Arduino sketch. So we will have three files, the .h, the sketch, and another one which is constant. Here are the details. This is the sketch. This is the .h database generated by the LCD menu software and this is a support that must be put together with the other two. Now I'll show you how the menu we created previously works, using the simulator.
As you can see, you can scroll through the menus of the individual nodes. And what I was saying before the major symbol is useful because it indicates who I am. Currently using the software that corresponds to the item with the major there is a submenu, therefore clicking with the select key when you find the item with the largest, you go to the submenu. I'll show you more detail, including the buttons. How it works. The two buttons blue and red are to scroll forward and backward, the green button is used to select. As you can see, by selecting the item, you can access to the submenu by clicking select. If you want to go back to the previous menu you can scroll all the voices and click on go back. As you can see it is very simple and intuitive. If you look at the code you can write to do the action you want in correspondence with each single menu. If you are familiar with Arduino, you understand the code immediately. As I said before, together to the video, I put the links to download both the supporting sketch, the examples, and also the creator menu to be used under Windows. Okay, it seems I have said everything. Of course, if you have any comments, problems, or questions, you can still write to me. If you like this video, you can give me a like, and if you want, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks and see you next project.